Welcome to the K20 Center's Zoom Into Your Career video series. These online career expos give students a way to explore many interesting careers and learn about their career options from volunteer professionals. Stephanie Ann owns Nailheads, a creative agency that does realty, photography, home renovations, and custom fabrications. She is also a former high school English teacher. So just a little bit about me. My name is Stephanie and I am originally, well, from all over. My dad was in the army and we lived all over, but I went to school mostly in Georgia and I graduated from high school there. And then I moved to Texas. I went to college right after high school and I went to Letourneau University and I started my educational path there. Um, it took me about nine years to graduate from college and I am not a doctor. Um, so life happened in there and I eventually graduated from Texas A&M University in Commerce and then went straight in for my master's degree. And both of my degrees are in English and education. And after I um, received my master's degree, I started teaching in Caddo Mills, Texas. And that was where I began my professional career. Um, I had several lifetimes of things and jobs that I worked before that time, but um, that was the beginning of my professional career. And so I taught for a little over six years. And in that time, um, which I, I love teaching and I miss it terribly, um, it, it's a... It's a lovely profession for those of us who have been um, uh, blessed enough to be in that position. I really felt very honored to be a teacher. Um, I tell people when I talk about teaching, I tell them that I learned from the brightest minds, period. As a teacher, my job is to educate, but I learned so much about the world, about how to treat people. Uh, some of the funniest jokes I ever heard, they came from my students. And I learned so much about life from my students. In those six years, that was me learning. Um, I was a teacher and I was teaching and I was educating, hopefully um, about life and English. Um, I hope that my former students are happier because of being my students and uh, brighter in some way. Um, but I also hope that they know the difference between there, there, and there, uh, two and two, right? But I learned so much from my students. And, and in that time um, where I was a teacher, but I was also learning, and um, I was just really still developing my worldview and trying to figure out what I wanted from my own life. You know, I was a young professional already in my 20s. I had two professional degrees under my belt, you know, making the check marks on all the boxes that everybody's supposed to do. And I'm a teacher and I'm liking it and I'm loving it, um, but I'm learning at the same time. And so as that progressed, I became um, more educated myself about myself and uh, started thinking a little bit wider. So um, allowing myself to think about, well, what do I want my impact to be? What do I want my day-to-day -day life to look like? And um, at the end of all of that soul searching, I decided to branch out from the classroom and start my own journey. And so I, I started, um, you know, while I was a teacher in those last few years, uh, trying to focus on what mattered most to me and what I wanted my days to be filled with more of. And so um, thus began, you know, Nailheads Inc. And so right now I want to pause because I know that y'all are going to be using this for education purposes. And I saw when I was waiting to talk with y'all that y'all are doing the KWHL chart. Is that right, Will? Mm -hmm. Okay, so these students are going to be, is this an assignment for them? It's just something to help them reflect, yeah. Okay, cool. So I remember this um, as a teacher. I have given this as an assignment. Look, y'all, I wrote it down um, because it's important. So if they're going to remind you to do it, 
I am going to do it too. So for those of you who are maybe watching this later, that uh, it maybe has been a long time since you were in school, a KWHL chart um, is this, what I know, what I want to know, how I will find out the information, and what I learned. So this is an active learning um, activity. And this is a way for our brains to take the information in that we hear and do something valuable with it once we're done listening. Okay, so we want to learn stuff, right? You have to learn to pass a class. If you want to learn, um, I mean, if you want to graduate high school, you got to pass algebra. So when you're in algebra class, you have to learn it to pass it. But there are lessons in life and there are things that we come across that we want to learn and really put in there, right? And we want it to become actual knowledge. And this is a way, there are other ways, but this is one way that we can do that because it helps us to focus and it helps us to take that information and turn it into action at the end. So, um, you know, what I already know, I know um, about this class that I'm gonna talk about my business. What I want to know, um, for me, I wanna know what do the students want to know? If there's students with questions, I would love to know what they want to know. That's something that I want to know. That's kind of confusing, but um, I care very much about what other people want to learn. Even still in my business right now, I want to know what other people need to know because I'm a teacher at heart and I want to help folks. So that's something. Um, so I would, if you guys are listening, um, students, or people that might just be happening on this video, I recommend that you do this real quick. Um, pause the video if you need to, but just write yourself a little chart. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna put it up on the screen in case anybody needs to pause. Is it backwards, Will, though? No, you're good. <laughs> okay, cool. It's backwards from what I can see, so. Um, so just make yourself a little chart and see if that doesn't help you uh, in the future. So for students that are listening right now, and then I'm gonna get into what I actually do. Um, Y'all are listening um, and learning as part of a career class, is that right, Will? Kind of, yeah. Or, or just as, just, just because career opportunities. you're trying to help them out. This is awesome. So, um, so the reason y'all's purpose for watching this video is, also because I'm super cool and you just want to listen, but y'all are watching these videos because one day you're going to have to have a job, right? You have to pay bills and you don't want to be miserable doing that. And so you want to find a career that you love, that you enjoy. So that's your reason for watching these videos. So you're going to learn from all these folks, see what they do, put that all together, Put that with your experience, your skill sets, your desires, and you're going to choose a career one day. Maybe you'll choose two, three, four, 20 careers one day, but you'll have to have a job. So that's why it's important that you pay attention and think about what are some questions that I might have? What are some things that I need to know more about if I want to follow one of these paths? Okay, so this is why you would do innovation. Um, so I recommend you do that. So um, back to what I do. So um, Nailheads Inc. is a collaboration between um, myself and my business slash life partner boyfriend, AJ. And he and I um, collaborate uh, on everything. So we offer all sorts of services. And really, you know, I'll, I'll tell you a, a quick little list of things that we do. And um, Will, thank you for sharing that um, introduction where you shared some of those things. And it sounds like a long list and it is. Um, and how I explain that is Nailheads Inc. is two people right now. Um, we have some, some part-time employees as well, which is really exciting as our business is expanding. But um, it's the two of us and we started this company to focus on the things that are meaningful to us and doing the things that we have skill sets in and things that make us happy. So we literally wrote down a list of all the things that we're good at, all the things that we have made money doing in the past, 
And we went through and we decided what matters to us, what do we want um, our business to look like, what do we want to offer to our customers, to our clients, to people that interact with our business. And we decided we wanted to kind of blow the lid off of all of the rules. Um, we're not just a realtor and a general contractor working side by side. We're Stephanie and AJ who have a lifetime of experience and professional expertise and a desire to help people and to notice beauty and share beauty. And so we are these two entities, um, powerhouses, if you will, um, and we have expertise and we have a desire to help people. And so we just decided to do it all and be experts at it all because we have this expertise and we decided not to follow just one path. And so for us, um, our career path uh, became many career paths all at one. And it has been a beautiful journey. We are in our almost fourth year of business and it's really exciting. So some things that we do, um, we're both professional photographers. We love to shoot weddings, uh, people, architecture, uh, businesses. We've done all sorts of things there. I am a licensed realtor, so I buy and sell houses with folks. Um, I work with investors. We also remodel houses. Uh, AJ is a general contractor and master carpenter, and he is um, just really skilled and uh, we have a team of folks that work with us on our home remodeling and home restoration. And we also um, do custom fabrications. Some fun projects that we have done are um, a party bus or two. So taking a rundown vehicle and ripping everything out of the inside and putting everything cool back in. Um, so, uh, cool electronics and TVs, um, you know, we remodel uh, houses, like I mentioned, and we have done projects from, you know, million dollar home projects to uh, a house that's barely standing and stripping it down to what's left and building it back from there. Uh, all kinds of fun projects that we've done inside of homes, uh, but we also do um, and I'll take this back into my portion of it. I also am an educational um, advisor. And so I work with schools talking about various uh, subjects of need. One of the topics that is very near and dear to me is a topic called trauma-informed care is kind of the buzzword. But basically what that means is working with students who, and teachers who have experienced traumatic events in their lives and working with them to work through that and to be able to be happier, healthier, um, more healed individuals, if you will, from an educational Point of view. So what that means is that I take those years of experience teaching and learning from my students um, and watching the ways that they suffered. I, as an English teacher especially, got to see into the lives of my students because we do journaling and we have writing prompts where um, very purposefully, I might add, I would ask questions about things that matter to my students. And um, because they are lovely humans, they shared so many personal things with me. And I, you know, over the years got to learn um, a lot of really sad, sad stories. And I watched many beautiful young adults develop out of sad, sad stories. And um, 
it makes me emotional to think about um, as I think about, you know, will you being a student in my class and so many other students names pop up into my head. I'm still in contact with so many of my students, which is just an honor. Um, I'm surrounded at my desk by things that I had as a teacher. Um, <laughs> Y'all, this is funny. Um, my dad gave this to me when I very first became a teacher. I will not yell in class. I will not throw things. I will not tease the other kids. I am the teacher. <laughs> so, you know, we, we had a good time, um, but I learned a lot and being able to take that experience and, you know, use writing to access that trauma and turn it into something productive, something helpful, where people can heal a little bit, process a little bit, move forward a little bit, and find a little bit more joy and happiness. Because I don't know um, if y'all know this, but life is hard. <laughs> um, life is really, really hard. We have so many uh, difficult things to deal with um, individually, um, as a city, as a country, as a globe. Y'all, people, we are suffering. And it's not just 2020. Life has been hard. 2019, 2017, uh, 18, 12. People have been having a hard time. Life is difficult, right? But there are ways to still move forward, still be happy, enjoy your life. And that's what all of this is about. You know, we are all going through this roller coaster of life, and you got to have a job because you have to live somewhere, you have to eat, um, you have to exist with other humans, so we have to learn how to do that. Um, hopefully we get to have some fun, go some cool places, uh, get to know people that we enjoy hanging out with. Um, that's, that's all of life, but we also have to be productive and you know, have jobs, and so we wanna make sure that those two things can come together that our, our desires and the positive, happy, good things of life and the difficult stuff that's there, we have to be able to merge the two and continue forward. And so that's, that's one of the things that I hope as you listen to this, you think about when it comes to choosing your own job, your own career. Um, and that would be what matters to you? What would me, um, something that you want to see more of in your own life and how can you get that through a career and what what things can you build into your own life to ensure that you have a happy movement forward so um just a few more things and then i want to open it up for uh q a if you guys have any questions um or there's anything that we want to pause and talk more about we can do that so a couple of things that i want to make sure that i talk about um i really really want to encourage you first educate yourself y'all are in eighth grade ninth grade twelfth grade maybe some of you listening have you can't even remember how many years it was ago that you graduated from high school wherever you are you should educate yourself. Read books. Go to reliable internet sources. That is not Facebook, internet, Twitter. I mean, not internet. That's not Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, you can go to Google Scholar is a good way to, good place to go, right? Find credible people, people that you trust. Ask them questions. Um, learn. Never, never stop read books, um, watch a documentary every now and again if you still have Netflix, right? Uh, educate yourself. And what that means is be open to learning every single day, every single situation. Be a learner. Don't be afraid to say, I don't know, or ask a question. Y'all, I know a lot of things. I am really smart, it's true. I'm really bad at directions. Don't ask me which way is north, but I, I have things that I know about me that I'm good at, but there are things that I don't know. And 
it's good to not know things. It's good to ask for help. It's good to have to rely on somebody else to learn information. So the first thing, educate yourself. Second, don't limit yourself. The sky, that's not even the limit, y'all. If there is a dream that you have, find a way to follow it. If there is a job that you want to have, go after it. Learn what you need to do to get that job and do it. If there's a job that you want that doesn't yet exist, create it, make it, um, but don't limit yourself. So educate yourself and don't limit yourself. Um, a couple more things real quick. Some skills that you should build. Patience, y'all. Just in life, whatever career you have, you're going to need patience. Endurance in life you're gonna need to be able to stay the course because remember, life is hard. Um, eighth graders have it hard, 37 year olds have it hard, everywhere in between. Life is just difficult some days and some moments it's worse and some days it's better, but you've gotta build your endurance. Um, and that means you can go the distance. Um, learn how to talk to people. Work on your interpersonal skills. Learn how to disagree with someone nicely. You can argue nicely. You can care about people. Um, so work on your interpersonal skills. Whatever job you have, you're going to probably interact with another human. Um, so I would, I would recommend to those listening, work on um, how to talk with people and be nice. Um, Self-discipline is another thing. Uh, whatever career path you choose, whether it's being a business owner like myself or working in a, a different field, you will need self-discipline um, and be free thinking and free learning. And, and yeah, so any questions that anybody might have? Yeah, I know that so, was a lot of information. <laughs> um, I had a question thinking about maybe something that kids would have. Um, you know, obviously there's, you talked about your non-narrow path where you're at now. You went through a lot of different avenues to get to where you're at. And that's the same with a lot of people. Most people don't just take one path throughout their entire life. So thinking about, um, you, you talked about all the things that you had to do when you first sat down to start your business. If somebody wants to start their own business, what is maybe a couple of things that they would like to do or need to do early to kind of get rolling? So the first thing is, you know, if you want to start a business, you're going to need some dollars. So I would recommend if you don't have a job and you want to start a business, you should get a job, even if it's not the business that you want to do, unless you have a business plan that is going to be immediate money, which there are some that you could, you know, have capital, which capital is, is money coming in. Um, so there are some where you could do that. So that would be the first step is to get a job. Um, so that you have some income to start your business. But then from there, I would say the very first thing that I would recommend that someone do is sit down and say, what matters most to me? Because if you're going to start your business, you are going to be responsible for everything, at least from the beginning. And so you need to make sure that what matters most to you is being honored in what you're building, right? So if what matters most to uh, you, which in my situation, what mattered most to me was my financial and time independence. I wanted to be able to make my own dollars independent of anyone else. And I wanted to be able to decide what I did with my time um, whenever I wanted. So if I wanted to go to uh, see my sister graduate, or if I wanted to take a day off because I'm sick, I wanted to be able to decide that. And so those were my motivations. So I would say, find your motivation. So what matters to you in your personal life, right? Not even the business side of things. And then switch to your business mode. What am I good at? So make a list of the things that you're good at. You know, I'm not sure if I'm answering your question exactly about, you know, how to decide what type of business to start. Somebody might, you know, be in that stage where I know, I think I want to be a business owner, but I don't know what business I would do. So maybe write down your skills or things that you would like to be good at. Even if you're a terrible artist, but you would love to be one and make money at it, write that down. Um, and if, once you can settle on a career path, then there are some things that you need to do. Um, you need to think about who is your target customer. 
who, who do you want to serve? What do you want to offer them? Um, and start to think about those things. Um, there's some legal things and some business um, monetary things that you'll need to do after that. But first and foremost, I think it's important that you find your, your top priorities to yourself because you want to take care of yourself and then turn to business side of things and figure out what are you good at and what do you want your customers to receive from interacting with you. Awesome. We got a question from one of our schools. Uh, they want to know what was the main reason you chose to go to real estate? Um, so thinking about like them, why should they kind of do that? And why did you do it? Good question. So um, this is a really easy answer. I chose real estate ultimately because it honored what I wanted. So remember a second ago, I said what mattered most to me was my financial and time independence. So my money and my time would be most honored if I chose a career path that would bring me the most income for uh, fewer hours, right? So it becomes this math equation, which I did not actually do a math equation because math is not my favorite, right? But it becomes uh, pros and cons and you start to, to build that out and that you know, real estate, why we decided to bring real estate into Nailheads Inc. and add that onto our list is because it is financially stable and it is a financially good choice. Real estate is a constant. People are always buying and selling houses, even in the midst of a pandemic right now, y'all. The whole world is basically falling apart and real estate is on fire, right? Um, not literally, but people are buying and selling houses because real estate is a constant. Um, it changes and it does go up and down. So it's not that People are always selling, 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 um, but people always do the things that um, bring houses to be bought and sold. They get married, um, they get divorced, they get new jobs, they get laid off in the midst of a pandemic, unfortunately. You know, there are all sorts of reasons why um, folks are buying and selling houses. There are investors, there are people building communities to make them better. Um, and so real estate for me was a way to uh, make good money without having to work, you know, too many hours according to what I wanted for my life. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Uh, we hit our end of our time, but I appreciate you taking time out of your day to speak with our students. Um, it's really great to see you again, hear from you. Uh, that was an incredibly motivating talk. Uh, I feel a lot better about myself now. Awesome. Um, <laughs> thank you. And so hopefully anyone watching this video can kind of take away some points about how to kind of think about their career um, and think that there's not just one way to do it. You, there are a number of ways that you can go about your life. Um, just making sure you have a plan and knowing that um, things can change is important. You have to be adaptive um, is a good one. And so I appreciate you taking time to talk with us um, and all uh, and let you in on one last note. If you want to say okay. something before we go. Yeah, I do. I'm going to just end on this and I'm going to go back to our chart um, because that's the teacher in me. So um, these two last things, if you learned something today that you want to know more about, even if it's not about me, something sparked in you, go and find out, make a list. What is the information that I need to find out to learn more about this thing that sparked something in myself? Write that down on your piece of paper. And then, y'all, write down what you learned today. I would love if somehow I could find out. Um, I'm on social media, if, uh, if any way uh, we can make that happen. But for yourself, write down what you learned today. And um, I hope it was something good. And y'all, I already wrote down the thing that I learned today. And I'll leave you with this. And it was that y'all put me down as human services. So um, I really loved that. I've never been classified as that, but I love it. And I'm gonna leave y'all with this. So this right here behind me is my list of things that I do. Um, so I am a beauty consultant, I'm a writer, I'm a lover, I'm a photographer, a creator, a helper, 
a life coach, a teacher, a challenger, a realtor, a comedian, a culture consultant, a bartender, a beauty consultant, a lifter. And now I have a piece of paper. I already got it down. I'm going to add human services um, because that's a thing I learned today. So um, I love you, Will. It's so good to see you. It has made my day. Students, I love you too, even though I don't know you. I miss teaching. You made me happy today. I hope you have a great day. Um, thank you so much for having me.